Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Finally, it is Friday. It is Friday, November 4th. It is the fourth day of No Shave November. I finally did go ahead and trim up the neck area. That's why it's a little bit irritated at the moment, but now I do have a clear, defined line at the edge of what will be the beard, so it's still looking very fuzzy. It's starting to look slightly more like a beard and less like fuzz, and this is day four, so imagine what day 30 is going to be. But in a bit of good news, I got to bed last night at a little after 11 p.m. I've been going to bed entirely too late lately, so 11 p.m. is better than what I've been doing. I probably ought to be trying for like 10 or 10.30, but that's just me getting old talking there. So it was a little easier to get up this morning. It's now about 8.50, so I'm actually about an hour earlier than I would normally be at being done getting ready. So I'm up and on the treadmill and ready to start working already. And since I have an hour until my morning meeting, I'm gonna try to get in touch with somebody from work regarding some security stuff. I'm going to work on my Nest video because I meant to have that done like two days ago and I've got like one more little clip that I need to film. I was trying to film it yesterday and ran right up until time where, oh look, Duncan's getting off the bus. I better run out there and meet them. So I was not able to finish that yesterday, but I will get it done today. And it means that if you happen to watch the video, be on the lookout because I'll have three different shirts on and three different states of beardedness. So hopefully Nest isn't going to mind that. I don't think it's really gonna be that big of a deal. But anyway, I better get to work. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. And if you're not, try to find something to make this day just a little bit better for you or for your family and friends. And an excellent, successful morning so far. Managed to get in touch with uh, the guy in the security group that I needed to talk to about whatever, doesn't really matter. To sort of simplify it here, what I'm trying to do is create a tool for my work that relies upon being able to log into the domain and make some changes to it. And the security group had to help me by creating me a service account and they have this big, long, complicated process for actually getting the password to said service account. So now I have that. Now I'm able to actually complete what it is I'm working on. I've tested it and everything. It is working appropriately. So now it's a matter of just cleaning everything up, securing it, locking it down as best I can so that, you know, you can't do anything you're not supposed to be able to do, and then deploying it for the entire company to use, which is awesome. On the other side of things, right before the meeting, like I said, I was going to go ahead and work on video stuff. I finished up the Nest video. It's uploading right now. It's at like 90%. So I'm going to send that over their way. Be like, make sure that this is okay. Make sure I didn't say anything too stupid. I'm kind of curious if they'll ask about the beard. I mean, it it's not a massive difference from the beginning to the end, but it is a noticeable difference if you're looking for it. But one way or the other. Like I said, the morning is pretty much over. It's already 1130, which means it's about lunchtime. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do. So many videos left to make. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take the half an hour between now and noon, try to clean up some of this mess because it's just getting worse and worse in here. I mean, I've got all the nest stuff down here. I've got more nest stuff up there. I've got quadcopter boxes. I've got the pile, which is not really a pile, but it is growing like a pile. And actually at this point, I've got two quadcopters I still have to do flight videos about. An RC car I've got to do a video about, a couple of speakers and Bluetooth headphones, and one Kickstarter project that I've mentioned before. And then everything else, I think for the time being, is all stuff that I've purchased that has just gotten pushed to the back burner. So I really want to get to that because there are things like the Amazon Echo Dot, the Philips Hue bulbs, the, the Xiaomi Mi Box that I would love to start using, but I can't really do that because there's so many other videos that have to take precedence because I've been putting them off for entirely too long. So time to, to dive, big dig, dig, dive, dig, get back to work. There we go. Well, that was a fun little bit of an excitement there. I was having my lunch, finishing up my lunch and whatnot, and I've actually had several packages delivered today. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a stack forming over here. The bottom one there is for Christina. It's, don't worry about that. The top one just showed up, and we'll get back to that. The other one was a FedEx home delivery from Google, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to start making my products that I purchase a priority. We also had a USPS deliver this Azul multifunction remote control. But yeah, the reason I said I would get back to that other box, I was supposed to have the new battery for this camera, the Canon uh, M100 delivered today. This was the third FedEx truck that had been here today. The, you know, the big Amazon box, the Google Home thing, and then this other box. So I was having my lunch, the doorbell rang, I rushed to the door to get the package. The driver was slamming the door and driving away. Picked up the box and looked at it and that's not my name. That's not my package. This is way bigger than a camera battery. If you just see the box there, that's that's much, much bigger than a camera battery. So yeah, it's like a five pound box and does not have my name on it at all. So I did what I guess I'm supposed to do. I called FedEx and I said, something's really wrong here. I got the email, I actually got the email saying that my package had been delivered. It, it wasn't mine. Tracking number was completely different. It's a completely different part of town. And so I said, you know, instead of my package showing up, it's somebody else's package that's here. And the lady on the phone said, wait, not only did you not get your package, you got somebody else's? Yeah. Oh no! 
And so it was like a 10 minute phone call back and forth with, you know, here's what we need to do. We have to do a, a return and then we also have to do a locator to find your package. And it's like the, the driver is probably still in my neighborhood. If you just call this person and say, where's the package? They'll probably do it on it. And before the phone call with FedEx had wrapped up, I was already receiving a phone call from a local FedEx office saying, we got this notice from FedEx.com that something was wrong. What's going on? And so I switched over to that call at the end of the, the main, you know, and hopefully to actually, uh, yep, there's FedEx. Speak of the devil. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing taken taken care of. And there she goes. And this is definitely much better size. This is what I was waiting for. And hooray, brand new battery for the Canon N100 or the Vixia Mini X, the NB12L. I think it works on a bunch of other cameras, but like literally brand new in the package. That's like a $50 battery. Cool. And wouldn't you know it, the battery is dead. I've got it in my charger. I'm gonna let it go for a little while and just see if it actually works. Interestingly enough, looking at the manufacture date, I guess it's manufacture date on the back of the batteries. The one that was counterfeit, the one that didn't work properly says 2014. 01, so January. The one that I'm currently using from the Vixie Mini X says 2015-06. Again, manufacture date, middle of 2015. The one that they just sent me said 2014-10. So this is a battery that is already two years old. For camera, it's... why? Why would you ship a two-year-old battery to a customer as a replacement? If I had to guess, they pulled it from their very back of their very back stock. The guy that I talked to, the support guy, actually said, I have to make sure that this one's not back order because it is such a popular battery, and apparently it's not that popular if you're pulling batteries that are two years old. So if it does not work, I will be right back on the phone with Canon support saying, hey, you shipped me a battery that's two years old that's dead. But not to take that in a negative direction, I'm happy that a battery arrived, and if it does work, awesome. I'll use it. And hooray, everyone is here, but just long enough to have, whoop, blurry and bright. <laughs> long enough to have some food, and then you have basketball. I thought we were all going, but apparently not. So, I'm gonna hang out with Ellis here. Are you hungry? You want some of this? Probably. What are you gonna do with that? Probably gonna eat it. It's got a top on it. Can't eat it with a top on it. Fix it. Well, skipping on ahead, Christina and Duncan made it back home and she decided it was time to come out to the hardware store because uh, we still haven't stained the deck. <laughs> so our deck is woefully unprepared for winter yep. and just doesn't look very good yet. Well, it looks good, but the, the color isn't right. Ellis was asleep till just a minute ago. Hi there. Welcome back. <laughs> so what color are we doing? Just to prep it, to protect it. Okay, so not one of these. So that's it, that's the color you want. Mm -hmm. Canyon brown. $34 a can, it's one gallon. Okay. She's officially bought all of the things, including an octopus leg. You're trying to build an octopus. Boa constrictor. Feather boa. Now we're gonna take, we've got all kinds of paint sticks, like paint extension sticks. And we're gonna take this, put some Gorilla Glue on the inside, or on the, the stick, and cut pieces for handle. Boy, Do too much of a... Yeah. On my hand. I didn't really film anything else, but we've made it home. And this little one is about to completely pass out. He's had his bottle and his pajamas and everything. Christina's got Duncan upstairs in the bath at the moment. He stayed up quite a bit later than he probably did. Well, that's actually, it's only 9.30 and it's a Friday, so I guess it's not that big a deal for him to still be up. But he does have a basketball game very, very early in the morning, so I think we're all going to try to get to bed early which means I probably ought to go ahead and wrap this up so I can get to bed shortly myself. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. It was a very productive and very sort of weird all-around day for me. That whole FedEx thing was very odd. They had a lot of packages delivered today. I think every delivery service came here except for DHL. Odd, but cool. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.